Why are so many 29-year-old girl bosses from TikTok having public meltdowns about failing to find a man? Everyone is so quick to say, stop doing this, stop thinking like this, stop doing, like, stop telling me I'm wrong. I have literally convinced myself at this point based on everything that everyone's telling me, my therapist, my family, my friends, that I'm just doing everything wrong. Well, that's because you probably are. And that's okay. That's just being a human being. You're going to have way, way more failures in life than you will successes. That's just the way it works, I'm afraid. If you never fail, you'll never know success. So you better get used to failing and you better get good at it. Everything I do is fucking wrong and I'm so sick of it. Stop comparing. It's not even about comparison. Like, I genuinely just want love in my life so badly. It's literally not about anyone else. It's just about me and what I want. And, and being fucking over the fact that I don't have it. I feel like I have done so much work on myself. I have built a beautiful life for myself. I'm happy. Well, clearly not because you're, you know, you made this video you're obviously not satisfied with the life you've built um you seem genuinely frustrated and i have some you know wider thoughts about that whole thing but uh, i want to let her finish before we get into that so i'm successful i'm independent i'm healthier than i've ever been i take such good care of myself truly the only thing i'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with and I'm so sick of waiting. Like, when is it going to be my turn? Here's a big spoiler alert of life. No one can make you happy. Sure, people can distract you from your problems and issues for a time, yeah, but they can never make you truly happy. So when you say, when am I allowed to be happy? I don't know, it depends on you. The only thing keeping you unhappy is, unfortunately, yourself. Having a partner in your life is not going to change that. I can guarantee you it won't. I don't want, I don't expect a lot. I just want love in my life so bad. I want my life partner. I just, am I just supposed to be alone? Like, is that the message that this beautiful life I've built for myself, like it's just supposed to be me in it alone? Like, I know I have my dog and I love him so much, but like, I need love. All of my friends have their fiancés and their boyfriends and their husbands that they prioritize. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I've been left behind. Okay, well, at the beginning of this video, you may remember you said you weren't comparing yourself to anyone. And then you just compared yourself to your friends. Which I kind of think we all figured was happening anyways. Here's the thing though. Life is not a race. You are not a competing with anyone to some imaginary finish line. I don't even know what that finish line would be. I guess death? Is that what we're racing towards? First! If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> no, I think we're almost done. Let's just finish this out. And I really just want to find that person that matches my energy and wants to build a life with me. Is that so hard? Okay, well there was a lot going on here, obviously, but you know what I think will help? Visuals. She kept saying, I have built this life that is good. And yeah, that's exactly what you did. You built this little life and then you filled it with all sorts of stuff. So here's your life that you built. My question is, where is someone supposed to fit in this life that you have now completed? And they go, oh, don't worry. I left this tiny, very specific shaped hole where someone must have all of my arbitrary requirements met in order to fit in. I don't understand why I'm alone. No one's gonna fit in your little dumb hole. No, 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 stop. No. There's been this pervasive 
idiotic ideology that's been permeating everywhere throughout the past couple of decades where they say before you get into a relationship you really need to find yourself first and you have to have everything all figured out already what an absolutely stupid thing to say because i mean here look imagine if everyone followed that advice imagine if everyone had their own little life built with their own little special holes nobody's gonna fit in each other's holes <laughs> why can't i find anyone because relationships aren't found they're built there you go here i'll instagramify it for you here does this help does this help it sink in? Now we just need some music and some bad AI voice reading. So what can we take away from all this? Well, one, you are not in a race with anyone else, so stop comparing yourself to other people. Two, don't expect to find someone who will be willing to sacrifice their whole life just to fit in some dumb little hole you built in yours. And three, you gotta loosen up your standards obviously not to the point where it becomes dumb and dangerous don't be stupid but if you don't want to end up alone you're gonna have to take a chance on building something with someone who isn't your ideal non-existent match okay so like i said relationships are not found they are built well, at least this woman here seems to be on the right track. I know a lot of people were like dunking on her and making fun of her, but I mean, honestly, this is this is what personal growth looks like. First part of solving a problem is admitting you have a problem. So I'm sure she'll figure it out or she won't and she'll just die alone. Life waits for no one. <laughs>